All right, so for those of you that are unaware, there's a show out called Velma. And it's supposed to be a spinoff of Scooby-Doo where they show Velma when she was younger. And uh, I grew up watching Scooby-Doo and I used to like it when I was a kid. As I got older, I kind of just outgrew it. and haven't watched it in a long time. I really don't care about it anymore. But it it was part of my childhood and it was something that I enjoyed. And to see it being basically desecrated and destroyed like the way it's being done does kind of piss me off. And there's this person, the person that wrote the show or is directing it, whatever the fuck they are. This person felt like inserting themselves into the show in their miserable life. And they want everybody else to enjoy their trashy idea of a life or mind or whatever. Whatever's going on in their head, they want everybody else to participate, right? So they decide to make the show based off of whatever they think their life is, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not really following it like that. And I don't really want to talk about the show in terms of what it is about. It's just a bunch of garbage from what I've heard. It's basically a bunch of underage girls doing lesbian things and stuff like that. That's what the show's about from what I'm hearing. And it's an attack on anything that is normal. And it's, 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 it's just like everything else that's going on nowadays, right? They're trying to invert humanity and trying to desecrate and destroy humanity and destroy what men and women are, what, what has been traditionally, what it's the way it was meant to be, the way it was created to be. They want to destroy that because the ones that control the world are evil and they're satanic and they hate humans. They hate everything that humans are. They're not human. They're demons and they're using humans to carry out their dirty work. So I keep hearing And this is the real reason why I'm making this video, because I keep hearing all these big content creators and all these people say the same stupid ass fucking shit. And it's really pissing me off. They keep saying that, oh, the reason why they're making these shows like this is because they're trying to make money. They're trying to cater to the woke mob to make money. What world do you live in where catering to a minority of people is how you make money? So let's do some quick maths. Let's do a a quick business lesson for those of you that have never taken business. Or even if you're a child, you can understand what I'm about to say. It's very simple. So let's say you have 100 customers or we can even go down to 10 customers. Let's 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 do let's keep it real simple. Let's say you have 10 customers, right? And nine of them are not woke and one of them is right. Are you going to and it doesn't matter what business. It is any business. Are you going to cater all your business and everything that you do and run your business, the way you run your business around the one customer or the nine customers? Which, which one are you going to do? Which one makes more sense in any business? So obviously you're going to cater to the 90%, right? The majority, right? That's how you make the money. And then you hope that that one customer comes around and buys your products anyway. And if they don't, well, you lose the customer. Who gives a shit? You're still getting those nine customers, right? So in what world does catering to the one customer make any sort of business sense and tells you that they're trying to make money? Where where is this logic coming from? And I keep hearing it repeated over and over and over again by all these people who run successful businesses. And I'm like, where in your mind is it clicking that they're trying to make money? The mental gymnastics that these people go through to try to justify the psychosis that they're seeing with their lying eyes. I'm like, you can just open your eyes and see the evil that's taking place, but you don't want to accept that. You want to make up all this other bullshit And say, oh, they're actually just trying to make money to cater to the woke mob and this, that, and the other. No, they're not. They don't give a fuck about making money. These companies have infinite money. You know why? Because they're making the infinite money out of thin air. They don't need money. They don't care about money. None of this shit that they're doing is about money. This show isn't about making money. And neither is all this other LGBTQ crap they're spreading all over the world. It's not about money. It's about destroying and desecrating what humanity is. That's what this is about. And it's being done by evil entities. 
But you people keep doing these mental gymnastics of, oh, well, it can't be the obvious truth. It has to be some a business decision. Yeah, that's what it is. They're trying to make money. Are you stupid? Like, if anybody thinks like that, if you think like that, something is wrong with your fucking brain. And the worst part is, is that there's plenty of evidence and proof as to what's going on. If you look at alternative media or other sources other than the CNNs and all this nonsense that you're seeing in, you know, the, the mainstream crap, the, the, the shit that you know is corrupt. Instead of you listening to that, why don't you go listen to people who are actually good people that are trying to help the world? Why don't you check those sources out? But no, because you might go down a rabbit hole that you don't want to go down and you're scared, you're a coward. So you rather stick to this lie of, oh, they're just trying to make money. That's what they're trying to do. No, they're not. This show is a complete inversion of humanity. That's what this show is. That's why I'm talking about it. Because this is just one example of the many things that they're doing, that they're putting out there to basically destroy what humans are, destroy the mindset of humans, destroy feelings of, of what humans are, the souls of humans, the way humans think, the way humans feel. They're trying to destroy all of that. They're not just trying to destroy people physically. They're trying to destroy them mentally, emotionally, in any way that they can. They're trying to break hu the human spirit. That's what all this crap is about. It's been about that. It's never been about anything other than that. It's never been about making money. Ever. When did any business ever decide that catering to the minority of their customers is the smart way to make money? Common sense. That's, that's all you need to have is a little common sense to see that that's not what's happening. But again, because the cowards that are these big influencers, right? All the big guys, all, all the smart people, all the ones that people follow they're like oh well there it has to be about making money so when those people say it then another one says it and another one says it, and they keep spreading this shit around to each other and i'm like do none of you use your brains and that's why it's hard like the more i look at influencers and youtubers and all these people that are the good guys right and that's why i say good people quote the reason why i say it like that is because the more I look at them, I'm like, these people are just as fake as, as the evil ones because they're making up shit that's not true and they don't want to say what the truth is. I feel like I'm the only one that can say what I'm saying right now or am willing to say it. They're more worried about their fucking reputation. Oh, well, if I believe in a conspiracy theory or something that is otherworldly, then people are going to look down on me and they're going to think I'm crazy or something. That's how cowardly these motherfuckers are. But people follow them. People worship them. People will die for these people. I'm like, you go out of your way for these people that aren't telling you the full truth, right? But somebody like me is crazy. And I'm trying to tell you what's really happening. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to wake people up and, and let them see the truth for what it is. But people want to believe the beautiful lie, right? And in this case, it's actually the ugly lie. Because there's nothing beautiful about this disgusting crap that they're doing to humans. Nothing good about it whatsoever. And again, the ones that are doing this are not human. They're demonic. They're demons, basically. So they don't give a shit about what humans are or what they like or how they are. They care in the manner in which they're trying to go against it and invert it and destroy it. But they don't care if you like men and you're a woman or if you're a woman and you like men, vice versa. They don't care about that. They don't, they want to destroy all of that. They don't care about the family structure or love or anything that humans have. They, they don't want any of that. They're trying to destroy all of that. Like I saw fucking Tim Poole talking and he was like, well, I watched these two gay guys in the show, The Last of Us or whatever the fuck the show is. And I didn't have any feelings. I didn't feel anything towards the show. Even though it was a good episode, I didn't have any, any feelings towards the show because there were two gay guys and I don't, I don't have any attraction to that. So I didn't feel anything. That's the point, Tim Pool, you dumb fuck. The point is for you not to have feelings. That's what they want. They want humans to feel like empty vessels with no life. That's what they want. So the impact of what they were trying to do was had by you. And you're too ignorant to just say, 
these motherfuckers are doing some evil shit because you want to support that community. You want you want to look like you're not against that community. Oh, there's nothing wrong with what they were doing in the show, even though you know it's wrong and you would never do it. Plus, you're seeing it with your eyes and it's telling you your eye test is saying, I don't feel anything here. Something is wrong here. You know it's wrong, but you can't say that, can you? Because you're too much of a fucking coward, Tim Pool. I hate people that do sh- that kind of shit. But whatever, he has his business, right? He's trying to make money. That's what he cares about. He's not, he's not a real person. He's not an honest person. And that's why I'm saying, I'm finding it. And he's not the only one. There are other people that are like him that I find to be respectable. Or people find to be respectable. But I'm losing my respect for a lot of these people. Because they're just as fake. And they're pretending that they're the good guys, right? They're the good people that are, oh, we're standing up for you. But you're not telling people what the real truth is. So what's the point? You're just as fake as these other motherfuckers. You might as well be on the evil side. Because you're not being honest with people. Because you want to make money, right? (sighs) Anyways. What this comes down to is the average person, normal, basically civilians, the everyday people, you guys, the ones that are listening to me right now, you're going to have to do something about this. You can't be paying these companies. You can't be supporting these companies. You got to protest everything all the time. Don't accept these things. Don't be okay with these things. You can't be like, oh, well, I would never do that, but it's okay if you do it. That's what got us to where we are right now. And the more you keep that pacifist, passive attitude, they're going to keep pushing and encroaching and encroaching until they have a mob at your door saying you either join our community or we kill you. That's what they want. That's the future that they want. Because everybody's standing there like with their hands in their pockets like, oh, it's not my problem. I'm just you can do whatever you want. And you're, it's, it's OK. Go ahead. Be that way. No. If you know it's wrong, don't support it. If you can see with your eyes that something is wrong, why would you support it? Why? Because who? Somebody told you you had to? Who? Society? The president? The government? Who told you? Your job? Somebody told you you had to do this? Another human is forcing you to do this against your will? And then you want to talk about free will? No, there's no free will if you're doing what somebody else is forcing you to do, right? And that includes me. If you don't want to listen to me and you want to keep supporting this shit, go ahead. But see where we see where it leads. That's all I'm going to say. Keep on doing what you're doing and see how far this shit goes. But I will die not supporting it. That's my choice and my decision that I'm choosing to do. I will die on that hill. I will not support this shit. You will never hear me saying I support any of this garbage. Anything on the woke left. It is what it is. The leftists are the ones that are doing. I haven't seen anything on the left that I agree with. I agree with some things on the right, but I don't like the right either. And the reason why is because if you believe in support in politics, if you support politics or you believe in it, then you're basically propping up the system that is allowing this shit to continue. Because you're giving validity to it, right? So you're choosing a side. So because you're choosing a side, now there's two sides. You're either on this side or, the, or that side. And because you're doing that, you're causing this shit to exist. So if you're on the right, guess what? You're just as wrong as the people on the left because you're participating in it. But if you don't participate in the politics and you stay the fuck out of it and let these psychopaths do what they do, then everybody will see them for what they are. But because they have the good guys, the good side, the right opposing them, then they can keep being the way that they are. But if you don't support, you don't support any politics and the politics die and you just let them be how they are, then everyone's just going to see them as crazy people. And they're going to be like, well, these motherfuckers are just crazy. That's what will happen. But in, <laughs> the more you keep participating in these politics, the more they're going to keep doing what they're doing because they feel emboldened to oppose you. That's all this shit is about. They're just playing opposite day. That's all they're doing. Oh, you, you're you straight? Well, I'm gay. Oh, you don't think uh, children should be groomed? Well, we do. We're going to have drag shows for kids. That's what they're doing. 
Whatever you think is righteous and good, they're going to go against you because you, you're you going that way. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have values or be good. I'm just saying don't make it into a political thing. Just be a good person. You know how to be good. You don't have to be part of a political party to be a good person. Do you? Just like you don't have to be part of a religion to be a good person. But whatever. You guys keep participating in this shit that keeps dividing people. And these crazy lunatics will keep up with their cult and they'll keep doing the shit that they're doing because nobody's putting their foot down and stopping them i see everybody on the right they're so uh accepting right like oh yeah it's okay if they're that way we're not we're not going to stoop down to their level and try uh to encroach on their rights or whatever well guess what they don't give a fuck about that they're going to encroach on your rights and they'll kill you for what they believe in so you keep being the good Samaritan over there and see where the fuck that gets you. Anyways, I think I've said enough. I think you guys get the point. If you like, like, comment, subscribe, share where you can, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.